Welcome to the 13th race of the season here at Pocono. Michael Delio and Sam Curtis starting on the front row for today's race. There's the full qualifying results. And uh, three drivers have been replaced. Sam McMillan now pilots, I believe, to 28, I think. Let me check. Yes. Uh, and uh, Brandon goes over to 54 and Kevin Carter to 58 all right so about to get the command here here it is gentlemen and one fine lady start your engine all right and just fired up here we go Pace van is heading in, here we go. And there it is, green flag is out and we're underway. The 180, first car to pull out of the line, the 35 are looking. Be wide for the lead, be careful. Sam Curtis. Just scrapes the wall there, no problems there. Starting second, st started second. Should be a good, should boost things up in the point standings for him. Sitting very deep in the points. Whoa, contact! Oh, big trouble. Top five. Have wrecked now, that's gonna be real big. Hopefully, no one hits that opening back there. A lot of cars collected. At least back to the line here. Sam Cruz on the outside, Dalio on the inside. Side by side, who's gonna lead the first lap? And it's gonna be the 16. Yep, the 16 just got him. All right, caution flag is out on the first lap, like always. We'll take a look at the replay. Take a look here, uh, Andrew Rich. Who? Oh, looks like it's Fisher. A nine car got into him. That's what caused it. Six car goes in the air, almost went upside down. And everyone just piled right in. 19 gets launched in the air. The 51. Big contact. It's a good thing no one hit the um, this wall over here. The big, uh, the big opening for all the, of course, no emergency vehicles to come out. I don't know why is it why they made it like that. You know, it's been there for so long, so many times. There's been a big wreck because of that. But still haven't they still haven't closed it for some reason. But uh, anyways, uh, let's take you back to the restart. Lights are off, coming to the green, 31 drivers left on the racetrack. It actually took out more drivers than I expected. Looks like it took out 8 cars. Yeah, 8. 31 drivers left on the racetrack. Michael Dalio, Talladega winner on the front row. Well, started on the front row, still the leader, so, so is Sam Curtis. Fisher third, fourth is the seven, and fifth is, I believe, Josh Rodelio. Coming to the green. And there it is, green flag, we're back underway. A couple takers on the outside lane. And there, whoa, look at the 14. Now, the nine car makes a move, trying to take second. I think you want to stay out on the outside lane off turn one. You should get bigger runs. Now the seven trying to make a move. I'm able to stick the nose in. Could have had him. But now Sam Curtis, whoa. One of Curtis just made contact with him, and he really slid up the racetrack. 
in turn three, and he'll lead that lap. Wow. Sometimes, you know, they can get runs off turn three as well. But not this time. Sam is now the new leader. Fisher on the bottom. Whoa, three wide. Contact. More contact. Out of seven cars in the wall. Dalio gets collected. This is going to be big. Maybe. Could be more wrecks up ahead. Oh, no. Yellow flag is out. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Race it back. Looks like Sam will take it. Coming to the caution flag, second caution of the day. And there it is. Caution is out. Sam Curtis is the leader. We'll take a look at the replay. Well, Michael Dale is not going to be happy. Well, no one's happy when they wreck, but he was the leading. Well, he was the leader. Had a real fast race car. The nine car slid up, got into the seven. Force a 7 up, collects Mike, Michael Dalio, and that car flies in the air. Okay, it doesn't really fly. Of course, it just, it just hopped. I don't know. That's a lot of damage. I think so. That That's probably enough damage to slow him down. Uh, the 7 was having such a good run as well. It's disappointing. It was running 3rd at the time. Had a shot, could have had, had a shot to win this race, but not anymore. So two car wreck doesn't look so big, but for them it is, but you know, the way they wreck doesn't look so bad, right? And eh, not really. Okay, we'll take you back. Lights are off, come to the green. Seven is now out of the race, leaving us with 30 cars on the racetrack, waiting for the pace van to pull in. There he goes, come to the green. There it is, green flag is out and we're underway. 35 I see on the outside. A couple of cars looking to the inside. Here comes the nine car. Now he's looking for the lead here. Both Sam Curtis and Ramian Fisher, two of the bigger names, the two veterans out there. Not having a good start to the season. And whoa, contact! Trying to take the lead away. And Fisher's extremely aggressive. He's just hitting everyone. Just pushing them out of the way. Well, look at this, three wide. 35, playing keys. He drove it in way too hard that time. But no wreck. He didn't wreck. Which, of course, is good. Keys is pretty aggressive as well. Not so aggressive, but pretty aggressive. You don't want to be too aggressive here at Pocono. Cause, cause a real big wreck. And whoa, 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 now there goes a 55. He's around. 24 gets collected. Still green, still green. They didn't really spin. And now Sam Curtis pushed, uh, falling back. Uh... So close. Again, had a good shot. That's a second car. No, that's the third car. Running in the top five. Now out of this one. And he does and he had the fastest lap too. Well, that's a disappointment. So now it's Fisher and Joshua Dalio. They're battling for the lead. Followed by Jennifer Dalio, Blaine Keys, Ava Cates, Matt Dalio, Ryan Acosta. Noodles, AJ Green, and Sam McMillan. That is your current top 10. Keys again. Whoa, this is going to be big. Four wide. Whoa, now the 67 around. The double zero just gets collected, I guess. But is there a yellow? No yellow, no yellow. No yellow. I saw no lights. Ah, oh, another one. They're going crazy. Way too man, they're not I think they're going more more than aggressive. They're going way they're going overboard. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. So Fisher the leader. I remember him leading the race at Pocono in the Cup series. And uh 
caution came out. He had a big advantage. And then I think it was the camshaft. Well, I, I forgot what happened, but the camshaft or something broke the second he took the white and yellow. He was about to get his first one of the season. And the 14 running him pretty hard. Almost, I think he just forced him into the wall there. Not too much damage though. Just a couple scrapes and that's it. Two Fords. One and two. There's the 35 car in third, the 17 fourth. These are returning teams from season one. Two car. Fifth. Uh, fifth. Yeah, and whoa. Was that a bump right there? Oh, caution! Caution is finally out. What happened? The 21 and the 67. Yellow's out, yellow's out, and looks like the 9 car got it. With 5 laps remaining, I think we have time for a 1 lap shootout. I think. I hope we do. We'll take a look at the replay. Andrew Rich in the 21 was running 18th at the time. Ava Case was running in the top 5 till she got wrecked, but there was no caution. Andrew Rich overshot turn 2. Forces the 67 in the wall. And look, wow, DJ Curtis. He was drifting through those corners. Well, actually, corner. Ava gets wrecked out, wrecked again. I think she's sitting last in points, and that top five would have been real big for that rookie. Take a look at it one more time. I think another car, was it the 28? That also got some damage from that. Right on board with him. Sam McMillan, first race of the season. If he did make contact, uh, I don't think so. Well, it doesn't look too bad. Looks like it just hit the right side. And that's it. So again, just a two-car wreck. Nothing too serious. We'll take you back to the restart. Lights are off. Coming to the green. One lap shootout. 27 drivers left on the racetrack. Second race in a row. We're going to have a one lap shootout. Can get pretty crazy, hopefully. Get ourselves an exciting finish. Because we had none. Except for Daytona. Daytona was pretty cool. But uh, at that, what is it, five races in a row to end under yellow. But the white and green are out. We're about to come out. And there it is. Green flag is out. We're back underway. 19's all over the place. Seems swer swerving and stuff. He got rammed under the first yellow. Ryan Acosta making a move. Here goes Blaine Keys. I don't think the 14 got a good restart. But he still got long, a long way to go. 2.5 miles. Fisher trying to hang on. This win will be real big for him. 30, uh, the 14 clear. It's a 35. Didn't go through the turn one that, that well. Man, look at the two cars slide up. This could cause a wreck. Oh, trouble with the 57 and gets dumped off turn two and oh, hard in the wall. Right in front of traffic. Big wreck behind. Huge wreck. Final corner. Dalio's closing in, but can he get him? I don't think so. It's not close enough to make a move. Checkered flag is out and Ramian Fisher wins it at Pocono. And there's a big wreck at the end of the race. I mean, on the last lap. 58 racked hard, a 57 to 74 there. He's also collected. Fisher takes home the checkered flag. Dalio, that's a good run for him. But I know how much he wanted to win too. Third is Jennifer. Fourth is... Who's fourth? Can't find it. All right, we'll just look at the floor results after. Wow. Oh, well, actually, yeah, let's take a look at it now, and then we'll take a look at the wreck. So, here you have it. I already said the top three. And then it's Blaine Keys, then Marine Keys, AJ Green, Matt Dillier, Ryan Acosta, Richard Kennedy, and John Acosta. Only one rookie finished in the top 10. 26 drivers finished the race. Here's the rest of the race results. The, not a lot of cars retired from the race. Come well, usually, well, usually we see a lot here at Pocono, but today not so much for Pocono standards. Uh, let's see, take a look at that wreck. I saw that. Saw so the 81 dumped the 57. He was having an okay run, very decent run, and the 81 overshot the corner and took him out. Wow. And he was heading for that 
wall right there and you know it's gonna be big look at that hard hit right in front of the four car first impact my look at how high that car flew in the air 42 just made it through the 55 I don't think so nope and then uh, 74 couldn't make it either huge wreck huge wreck yeah just you know four cars or actually no five cars didn't com didn't complete the race was about to well, actually a few drivers are actually scored actually or actually being how do, how do I say it I don't know all right well let's ride the chase cam in the 81 of course 15th he dumps the rookie and then pow Man, what a hit and then another hit at the back end just ripped off the uh, steel bar wow that's insane wild ride for the 57 similar to um Springfield when he went into the air yeah so race is over Ramian Fisher your winner will now take you to victory lane